Hello everybody, today I want to talk about idioms. Idiom is the thing if you add to your English speech, it can make your speech more colorful. Okay, let's get started. First idiom is the here's the breath, means a very narrow amount of something. For example, the dollar fell to the within a here's breath of its time low. Okay, following that, second half a mind to do something means inclined or disposed to do something, to have almost decided to do something. For example, I have a half mind to decide which subject I need to include to my school curriculum. Next one, half baked, poorly planned or thought about. Out. For example, there is a strong whiff of half baked. Anarchism about them. Next, half the battle. Half the battle means half the work or effort. For example, of course, keeping locks alone is only half the battle. Following that, hand in glow means close or intimate. For instance, the supervisor and manager work hand in glove to create a positive atmosphere in the company. Next one, hand over fast, means extremely quickly or fast. For example, his new company is making money hand over fast. Next one, hand to mouth. Or leave hand to mouth means to live in poor conditions from day to day to be impoverished. For example, the man is an artist and must live from from hand to mouth because he has no money. Following that, hand all, handle or tread someone with kid gloves means to tread someone cautiously or gently because he or she is easily hurt or angered. angered. For example, you can come right out of tell me what is going on. Hang up. Hang up is an obsession or problem or concern about something. For example, the doctor never got back me with the test results. I guess there was some hang up over the weekend. Following that, hanky panky means mischievous behavior or activity or suspicious activity. For example, there is a ghost of hanky panky which does influence the way filmmakers work. Next, happy go lucky. In word, in word word means carefree. For example, through his radio serials, comic books, and songs, he created the persona of, her, of a hanky go lucky singing cowboy. Next one, hard act to follow. A personal thing that is a good that a personal thing follows may not be measured of the same standard. The dramatic success of millennium development is driving advances in human health will be hard act to follow. Next one, hard or tough, rough to hold, means a difficult task. For example, for your information, Bray had a very tough rough to hold growing up. Next, have or got it meet means to have no problems, to have achieved success. For example, with his father at the head of the firm, he's got it made, we can say. Following that, our idiom have the last laugh, means to outsmart or get revenge on someone who thinks he or she has been clever. Marianne had the last laugh when she passed the test and her friend failed it. Next one, hand and shoulders above, means at the much higher level. For example, Peter is an excellent tennis player. His head and shoulders above and the other place in his town. Next one, head honcho. A person with the power in a company or organization. For instance, he's the head honcho, but he's not too grand to make sure his guests feel at home. Following that, head in clothes, or we can say have one's head in clothes. To be impractical or absent-minded, to be unaware of what is going on around you. 
This was the 